At this point in the sculpting process, Simon has appended two subtool spheres for eyes. To add material to this, he'll simply make sure that he has MRGB turned on, select the toy plastic material, and then go up to color pull down, and then select fill object. Now he can switch back to the same skin tone he was using before. Simon will continue to add surface detail using the same techniques that he's been using throughout the past couple of videos, simply by using an alpha and the drag rectangle stroke. You'll notice that in the alpha palette that you can blur your alpha a little bit. This allows you to create your own alphas, and if they're a little bit too harsh on the surface, you can just blur them up a bit to get a much softer look. And as we've already seen several times before, Simon's switching back to the Damien standard brush to again just kind of refine some of the detail and pull out some stronger edges along the surface. At this point, Simon's going to choose another custom alpha, which he'll then use to sculpt some very fine skin pores into the surface. Throughout this process, you may note that Simon's been working on larger details and then working his way inward to much finer details along the surface. To create the ornament that you see on the upper part of the jacket here, Simon's going to use the layer brush. The layer brush is going to give you that nice kind of hard crease around the edges. Then he'll actually mask off a portion of it, invert that mask, and then use the standard brush to push down that sculpted area. That masked area again is going to give him a nice hard edge as he pushes it down. To give volume to the lips, Simon's going to use the inflate brush. You notice that he's just going between the lines that he set down earlier with the Damien standard brush. Inflate is an excellent way to just add volume to specific areas of your model. <laughs> 